What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off, round off what happened in the last part, we successfully defended Athens from a siege and we have completely and utterly destroyed the assaulting Ottoman forces. Now it is a severe case of being able to replenish, recapture Patras from the United Provinces and to begin some operations against Sarajevo and Belgrade to try capture some more regions and get some more money. But first, we need money. I've lost my school so I can't even research fire by rank. So let's hit a turn. But thankfully that school is actually going to usurp the United Provinces. It is going to be under under rebellion. But I don't know if I want to wait that long. I think I just want to replenish my troops. Oh no. I saw that United Provinces, that Dutch stack come in. Oh, oh no. Next door to Athens. I can't attack them. I don't think I want to attack them yet. If they want to raid my port, fine. What I want to do is... Um, oh yes, France. Yes, 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 France. Yes, France, the OG saving the little Greek Empire. Please capture it. If they capture it, oh no. Well, at least if they capture it, that will... Well, if they capture it, it won't make a difference. But I will... The, the, the wealth of the United Provinces will be significantly denatured. That would be perfect. And at the very least, it will draw the attention, you would hope, of that United Provinces stack. You'd hope that wherever they were going to use that, it's now going to be rebalanced to defend France. You would hope. Well, I am about to recruit some guard infantry, though. My guard's infantry is very good. Hmm. Ordnance factory in Greece. So we managed to do a bit of replenishment? Oh no, one more turn till the guards. Well, let's replenish everyone else we can't replenish. Because I suspect they want to try and... Um, raid this port, in which case I'll attack them. Well, attack them. I will treat, make them make them attack me. Alliance broken between Spain and France. That's pretty major. Well, I really, really hope you win here. Fusiliers, Marines. Oh, God alive. You, I don't see how you'd win that. Not on a siege, anyway. Maybe if you let them come to you. Maybe. Even then, I don't want to. I don't want to rebuild any of these areas to give them a reason to go this way. The only good thing I've got to raid is this port. Unit recruited. Yeah, new unit of conscripts in Greece. Let's hope that they come this way. Because then I will sail back and hit Patras, and hopefully. Come on, move. Or are they going to take their troops and sail them somewhere else? Opportunity to intercept? Yes, please. Come and have a go, United Provinces. When I knock you back, when I recruit those two foot guard units, we are going to chew you alive. Chew you apart or eat you alive, not chew you alive. <laughs> Phew. You must not fight too often with one enemy, or you will teach him all of you. Against the Prussians, not the Prussians, the Ottomans, a hell of a lot. Still with our lovely breach. Why outside? Let's deploy the pikes. Let's deploy you in here. Trying to run out of decent infantry. Do 
you're deployed, you're deployed. These two units are not deployed, so let's effectively put you, put you here, put you here. Deploy my cavalry back here in the hidden trees. Because I want to send them against this unit of guns, because they've got a lot of. Because they have had a chance to replenish. Send my unit, this unit over on this side. Get, try to get these guys to deploy properly because they're all coming this way. Okay, halt. Just get them. Keep firing canister on the same spot. What a nice do I just limber them up and ready to get them out of the way. Get my cavalry out because at the very least I will probably get them to send one of their infantry units after me, further allowing me to focus my firepower. Don't want to fall back yet because we're about to rip up this regiment of foot. Oh, I made it sail all the way from Sri Lanka. Sinking up some fire. This VOC infantry will because their other cavalry is too far out of the way to help. Yep, they're going into the breach. As are they. Okay, let's run my cavalry over towards. See, they're not sure. Let's run them into their general thing. If we kill their general, that unit east routes or abandon the field okay run run away before the infantry get here What I'm doing, but you're too late. I fired high, so they'd missed my gun. They'll get them though. Oh, took his head clean off. The guys to deploy more over here to take up positions to fire onto this unit of conscripts. But at least if we can kill their general, that's a unit of cavalry gone from the field. Got him. 
There we go, plenty of fire and conscripts. So let's put you over here to try fire some of the guns. So advance you up here to fill up their spot. Company cover. It, was, it has been hit by some sporadic artillery fire. Smash into these conscripts, kill as many of them as I can. They're gonna man the guns, good. To do enough damage to these guys. To be honest, I might just pull back now. Hit them because they're the bigger threat. I'm probably going to speed up time because. Okay, why are you. Why are my doors open? Absolutely want to just want to chew up this unit of infantry. Still picking off these hit boys. Yeah, we're chipping them down. Come on, move over this way. Now you're absolutely knackered from the, the killing I've had you do before against the Ottomans, but come on, men. This is for your homes. Yep, yeah, they've routed. Yeah, let's try actually kill this entire unit of line infantry rather than allowing it to survive. Oh, actually, it's probably. Well, they've only got 84. If they had more men in that support unit, then I'd probably go after them. scatter all over the field. Okay, so one thing I'm probably going to do is take these two units out here as a bit of bait. It's got my pikes here. Just to make sure they don't try anything sneaky. Seven remaining. Six. Two. Just the one. Good. I may even move my pikes out. Probably have to drop a unit of conscripts. Or many units of conscripts here. Let's move up and engage them. To be honest, they may well route. Yes, they did. Perfect. The United Provinces, and also with the guards next turn, will be able to lay siege to Patras, recapture it. Hopefully, before, well, actually, if we move March now, it'll be before they have a chance to replenish, which will be good. Then we'll have conscripts guarding Athens. See, where were you, Austria? And then again, Austria was never my ally, so I can't really be that angry with them. Or do I try something bold? Do I sail across the Med and hit Cairo? <laughs> do I do something? No, I want to consolidate my condition, my position near my borders, I think. That would be a good idea. Secure the Greek peninsula first, then set out across the Med. Lots of these areas like Sarajevo and Bosnia, while they're a bit rubbish, they're still territory that will gain you something. And I might have to slowly fortify them as the war as I get more and more powerful, because the Austrians will start to look at me as a potential target. 
but I will be ready. Because they always do say the Ottoman Empire, once you've spent the money on it, it there can generate so much money. There is a region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population. Yes, yes, yes. So let's take... Hold the fort for now, man. You guys get ready. And you guys may as well build a great arsenal. Wait, wait, must you? Let's get a Royal Observatory in preparation for getting a school built. I know in two turns they'll have building a dockyard, but I don't really need it. Oh, yes. Ah, they know they did take Hanover. Let's hit and turn. Gotta wait for that inevitable Grand Columbia army to come after me. Iceland's up for grabs. And there goes the United Provinces fleet fleeing back towards the North Sea. Having just lost a chunk of their territory against the French. Up against the French. To the French, I should say. So hopefully they march onwards to Hanover. Or the Prussians do. Someone does, hopefully. But yes, the, the, the United Provinces' threat is greatly to loss of the dam. Yep, here comes some more raiding forces. Oh no, they're, going, they're heading towards Istanbul. So I think I'd probably like to have a, a, a more a proper army marching towards Istanbul, and then maybe some just just cavalry units doing a bit of a bit of raiding, and maybe a bit of capture of uh, frontier territories. I think. So the Swedes is doing rather well at the moment. Opportunity to intercept. Wait a minute. Those rebels? Uh, just auto resolve, I guess. I don't know if I want to kill them or not, but I don't know if I want to let them live. If that makes sense. Let's get my cavalry in. Actually, I don't want to have one. Uh, let's bring two conscripts over and let's send these two more conscripts back. Probably send them up. No, don't attack. Okay. Plenish. Maintain for one turn. Allow this port to get built. Then I will attack them. And take a free port. And then let's do a bit of reconstruction. Cheapest assets first. Cool, then you'll start to actually be growing and earning money. No, they're my, they're rebels, but it's the same flag as me. But if I let them take it, will they be enemy rebels? I don't know. Do I want them to take it? They're Greek rebels, so it makes sense that I kind of might want them to take it. But then, do I want to let them take it? I don't think I do. Ah, they're marshalling a new army, so I want to capture Patras and get them back over to there rapidly. So I probably want to take, want to hit them this turn, and if I have to, I'll destroy the school. Oh, 
you're going to pay for that Russian army. Yep, you sure did. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Lines broken between Select Poland the type and of port France. To construct here. Probably because they declared in Prussia. Your population grow. Fine. Have a fishing fleet. Now be quiet. Okay. Oh, I might just auto that. It's so weak. Are these mine? These are mine. March. If I move you all out. Good, let's get his army back to Athens. Uh, I, can't, I can't quite repair, but even if it attacks you, you'll be okay. To be honest, I might have to do that. Waste of time, waste of money, but I might have to focus on my economy, push up, secure. Istanbul, then I've got all these towns to play with, including a university somewhere. Don't know the even oh, university's in Ankara. If I take Istanbul, or it's new move up and then splinter forces capture these two territories, it's still more money. It's money I need. What am I getting? Two thousand a turn? A handful. You go to there actually and ready to break them out. Cool, let's hit and turn again. I'm just conscious of that new Ottoman army heading my way. Fortunately though, it is within a whole... It is within a... With a whole garrison that I hold Athens. So my plan is... Now this is secure, to repair... Uh, Moria. Upgrade the infrastructure and upgrade my economy in those regions and then start to build my forces and expand on expand on the Ottoman. This has taken a lot of time. Oh, it's taken a lot of time, a lot of turns. But I'm just, ooh, that's Dutch rebels. Good, they've been destroyed. Move on, capture Hanover. So I want to start expanding my control over the Mediterranean, but I can't. So the army's not moved. Because I may end up... Well, Depending on how my recruitment goes, I may well end up recruiting a general, give him a, a token force, a small army, and then send him up to the border. But I would like... Come on, big money. I predict the Ottoman attack. Will I predict a rake? That's what I want, a rake. I can send a rake to have a look at the border and how things are doing. To be honest, I may even try seek an alliance with Austria. They may take it now. Now I'm not going to risk dragging them into war. I can bring, I can ask them to come to war, but it's not by default now. Kick them out of the dockyard. Let's repair. Let's build craft workshops. Then let's get some. Uh, they're pretty weak. Let's get another unit of demi cannons. Where's my cavalry? So my cavalry to do a bit of raiding and a bit of skirmishing. A couple of weak units. There is potential in a mad plan such as this to leave the city and do something like that. Austria. 
very friendly. Can I join your alliance? It's probably because I'm, I'm at war with... Oh, you're at war with a lot of people too. But there's a great war happening. It's Britain and Russia and Austria versus France. And where's Prussia in all this? Allied with Britain, Russia and the Dutch. Are you allied with the Dutch as well? No. But can I ask for a peace? Come on, there's not even that many of you. Yeah, so I move this small army. A few units of infantry, a bit of artillery. They can probably secure Sarajevo. Oh yes, I can start researching. Oh no, I can't because I destroyed my school. Sit in turn. The next turn I'm going to have to start. Well, do I have to? Garrison's pretty strong. I'll let the army I've got now start move up. If they can hit Sarajevo, they might be a bit left out on a limb. So if they move up there, that's where the main Ottoman effort goes. So hopefully, if I can attack Sarajevo, draw the Ottoman effort to the northwest, that might give me a chance with a uh, a more reasonably sized force to sail out from Athens. Could sail them out from Athens. Should recruit a navy actually, or just just a sloop, just to sprint up to the up to Istanbul and have a look. He's taking a little. It's a bit slow to get the ball rolling on this one, but I have no doubt our time will come. Mostly because with Mexico, you had lots of tradable resources and lots of mines right off the bat, but what you don't have with Greece is either of those things so it's more you have to build up more of a tax base which just takes takes a bit longer and you have to spend more time okay pull back yeah pull back so those are like part of part of the Belgrade garrison so I'll move my cavalry up to scout Bosnia it's not very not a very great region to hold but it also gives me a land border with Austria. So our trade will then become overland and so we're less dependent on our sea trade routes. And hopefully, I don't know if this is the case, but it's not really something I keep an eye on and it's not really something I've had to think about. If my trade route with Austria becomes an overland one, does that open up a spot in my trade ports to connect to another nation's capital? And it could well do. And it would make sense to probably... Ah, there's my observatory... Okay, you go this way, up towards Sarajevo. You keep going. 3,400. So you've got good roads. You can get good roads. But I can also get an Iron Master's Works, which is probably a good idea. It's quite a nice core, decent infantry. Actually, I probably don't need to worry about them too much. Some Indari horsemen. I can do with recruiting a... Okay, let's hold that for now. Ooh, can we get galleons? That's pretty cool. Let's recruit a sloop. Let's recruit... Oh, I may as well build, build roads here if I'm not going to have that much money. I may as well recruit... So does the next barracks get me regular infantry? Just re something reasonable, solid infantry. Not even solid, just infantry, because I've got... They're limited. Light infantry is unlimited, so conscripts, militia, light infantry. Yeah, it might be... might be... punching. Oh, okay, so now you're starting to... You're frugal and thrifty. So if anything, like swapping you over is an... Ooh, you're good for the army. Let's try you two. Good. So we've got managed to stop losing so much money from the down treasury, and we've actually managed to get some bonuses out from the army. So that, is, that has improved our economy slightly. So we have no resources to trade. 
you can stay there for now. Actually, I might move you over to uh, Piraeus. Good. Still can't research anything. So next turn we'll have eyes on Sarajevo, then after that we'll be in a position to attack. Athens is secure. Next turn I'll buy some an expanded ironworks, or, or I may end up buying it down in uh, Morea, because that's more, more secure, more defend. Well, I thought more secure, I thought more defendable, until the damn, you know, provinces showed up and started ruining it. I may have been a bit ambitious with this 45 regions, considering I don't have much good infantry. Got fusiliers, but you can only recruit so many of them. So this, I may end up having to use much more cavalry than I'm used to, to help entice infantry to stay in formations and to potentially draw infantry away. Hmm. Could be a tricky one. Or I end up just not advancing on so many fronts as I do in other games where I can def where I can build eight armies or ten armies to do just expand and conquer the world. I may end up just having one or two main efforts and the rest of them become defenders in the city and more garrisons rather than outright conquering armies. Could be how it goes, I don't know. Gentlemen in Greece. We may as well hang fire and wait. Let's move you up to here. So how does Bosnia look? Oh, God. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Risks of souls, janissaries, berserkers. Those guys are... Their lack of fear so they didn't rout. That's that's quite bad. I was expecting something much easier than that. Okay, cross into cross into Ottoman territory, where you'll be met by a force from the south. Probably equipped with ooh twelve pounders. Let's probably get you hmm, what do I get you? Let's upgrade you to an iron workshops. Might just have to try smash Istanbul in the face, I think. It's probably gonna be what I end up doing. Let's get two more units of guns, let's get Another regiment of actually one unit of guns, one regiment of horse, one unit of engineers. God, this is going to be an elite army when I get to it. It's force from the south. We'll meet them here. So to block them in case they try to run through. So you set up here and have a look at Istanbul. Currently ungarrisoned, but there is their main army. But that's much less quality than it was before. Unless... Very high risk if I get together an army, sail it to Istanbul, try to capture it in one turn, and try to get peace. Very, very bold. But, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Greece.